Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're running a little bit behind. For those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, uh, thank you guys so much for being very patient. I ask you guys to continue being a bit patient. We're still catching up to our emails the past two months. Um, so we're getting there, you guys. Uh, also, if you want to follow my other social medias, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, you guys are more than welcome. I'm very active on Instagram as well as on my TikToks. TikTok, you'll be able to find um, very quick, uh, you know, very quick, easy spells for every day. Uh, you'll also find daily readings on there as well as on my Instagram. So let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Uh, we're going to do the shells, then we're going to get into the tarot, then quickly the oracle cards to see a little bit deeper into the month of March. So uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing, Capricorn? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Whoa, we have a lot of shells here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you guys have... Um, and I, I feel that you guys have been experiencing this the past couple of months. There is like a major, uh, major changes that are coming or that are unfolding. You may feel like the pressure, something about pressure, it could be pressure at work, it could be in the home life, finances, that's quickly starting to dissipate. You're starting to be able to build, you're able to either save or put money on the side, um, a, a flow of energy is coming to you guys in regards to your finances. Now, for some of you guys, uh, there may be opportunities uh, to take a higher position. For others of you, it could be like getting a raise, making more money. Those of you guys that are in sales, it's going to be an amazing month, March and April. Um, so again, a lot of positive energy here, but they are showing me for some of you guys, um, there may be some type of move connected to work or travel, uh, some type of commute. Um, so again, it could be like you're offered a higher position, but you have to go to a different location type of energy. Um, now, I do want to mention here, I do see a lot of like being a little bit more social Capricorns. I see a lot of people really like looking at you or looking at what you're doing. Um, you're definitely getting a lot of attention. A lot of shells usually indicates a lot of energy. So again, I feel like if you can see it's spread out, but right at the center, we have a ton, a ton of shells. And that usually indicates to me uh, people really gravitating towards you. You may feel like you're being a bit magnetic or you're attracting a lot of people. A lot of people want to be around you, want to get advice from you. Um, knowledge is what they're seeking. Um, so again, it could be uh, friends coming to you for advice. Uh, this could be even bosses looking up to you. There is something about you, Capricorn, that is definitely going to be taking center stage for the month of March and April. Um, and again, I feel that like you guys are definitely coming into your own power. You're being more like more confident in yourself or more confident in what you're doing. I also see changes in regards to your physical aspect. So for some of you guys, it could be changing a diet. For others of you, taking care of your diet. Some of you guys quitting certain habits, alcohol, if you smoke. This could be like you getting to the point of saying, you know, I, I think it's time for a change. And all of this is pushing you forth to the next cycle in your life with the very positive. I, I see you guys becoming stronger. For those of you guys that have been sick or have been having uh, health issues, that's quickly going to become almost non-existent. I see a lot of healing happening here. Uh, for a lot of you guys, if you guys are under medication or have been under medication, I see them really figuring out exactly what it is that needs to be done. They may change certain medications, but it's going to be to the best of your uh, to the best of your interest. It's going to really help uh, and it's going to impact your health in a positive way. So very, very um, amazing. Now, I do want to say here, uh, for some of you guys, there may be a, some type of issue around the family dynamic. It could be a child. It could be someone that you look after Capricorn that is really going to be needing a lot of emotional support. Um, and I know you guys don't have an issue with this, but what they are saying is pay more attention. If you have kids, pay more attention to the one that may start to rebel a bit. I feel that they're just trying to get your attention 
or they're just trying to get some type of validation of the love that you have for them. So again, try to be either patient or loving to them so that they can feel that and um, not, you know, rebel because I do see a few trying to make their mark. And this could be like if you have kids that are above 18, older than 18, it's like they're trying to make their mark at the same time. They're trying to think for themselves because you may be too harsh on them or they may feel like you have too high expectations that you're kind of pushing them to take the different route from what you thought or what you wanted for them. So again, try to be supportive. Try to be understanding. All right, Capricorns. Let's get into your tarot cards here. Let's see. Let's see exactly what's going on. Okay, Spirit Guides, what are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. This has been a really crazy year, you guys. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing and I on a personal level. Um, it's just been crazy. Like the past two weeks, it's it's like one thing after another. I don't know if you guys feel the energy. It, it feels a bit wonky. It feels a bit like, I don't know how to describe it. Um, just, I don't know, it's weird. Like for myself, the consultations, it's like, uh, people have been forgetting they have appointments. Other people, um, like, they don't let me know <laughs> that they're going to be running late. And it just throws off my schedule. It's like, it almost feels like there's resistance in the air. There's resistance in the energy. And it's very frustrating, especially for me. Um, not the most patient person in the world. Um, so, yeah, it just feels wonky. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that. And communication, too, with communication. Communication is just off for some reason. You guys may be feeling this as well. All right. Let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, month of March, 2021. All right. So right at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is burdens. It is responsibilities. It is feeling a bit overworked for some of you guys, like you guys have been really pushing it to the limit. Um, but the positive thing of the Ten of Swords is that it's at its conclusion. So again, it's coming to a conclusion of feeling like you're carrying a lot of burdens or even picking up other people's responsibilities, and that's quickly going to be ending Um as well as feeling a little more relief is what I'm hearing, like getting or, or you're going to start to experience like people coming like in the workplace, trying to pick up a shift or trying to help you out or make it a bit more bearable at work, especially if you guys have a lot of responsibilities going on there, uh, as well as with the, you know, with the home life, uh, the family dynamic. I see that there is a lot of pressure here, but that's quickly going to be, like I said, dissipating going away, things are falling into place in a positive way. Now, your next card here, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups does speak about uh, be, being emotionally available. This also represents um, people around you uh, being very understanding or very supportive. Um, for those of you guys that are single, it could represent uh, love offerings or someone that has their eye on you, Capricorn. Now, your next card here is the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups could represent walking away from a situation where perhaps there was like taking a lot of responsibilities. Resp and I keep hearing responsibilities that are not of your own. Um, so it could be like expectancies. Like, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, people have a tendency of over relying, especially on you Capricorns. It's like sometimes you guys have the tendency of being the backbone, you know, in the family. Even if you're the youngest one, it almost feels that way. And with the Eight of Cups, it's almost like coming to the understanding that there is a need for you to be more in tune with your emotions and be more in tune with with the I am, you know, with you. Um, in retrospect, what this could represent also is coming to the understanding that you need less stress in your life. And if it comes at the cost of walking away or letting people know that you're no longer going to be picking up other people's slack or that you're not going to be um, being the person that they rely on, you know, uh, really putting your foot down. And, and I feel that this has more to do again 
with children. I feel that uh, you guys are maybe tested for this month in regards to that. Um, and what they're saying here with the Eight of Cups, I do see you guys walking towards um, towards positive, towards uh, more new beginnings, towards things stabilizing and things falling into place. Now, for those of you guys that are single, what I'm hearing is that there is a person or someone that's coming towards you that perhaps in the past there was already a built connection. You're already aware of who they are. They're aware of who you are. There was a connection that perhaps for some of you guys, it, it never really got to the point of starting. It was almost as if, like, as an example, you were introduced and then things happened and it never really progressed. And I see them coming back around, wanting a new beginning, wanting a new start. Um, for some of them, it could be that they are within your circle and they're trying the best they can to stand out from the crowd. Uh, so I definitely see somewhat. Yeah, <laughs> this is the vibe that I was getting here, the Page of Swords. Um, definitely someone like stalking you, looking at your social medias, looking at what you're doing. Yes, this could be an ex as well. Uh, but I feel for the majority of you guys, this could just represent like a past fling or a past person that, uh, like I said, you were interested in. However, it didn't really take off. I see them really looking at what you're doing, uh, keeping tabs on you. Uh, that type of energy. And I feel that you're aware of it. So you may already know who this person is um, from experience. I'm a Capricorn. And I can tell you like the past two, three months, it's like people from the past popping out of woodwork, coming out of nowhere, like, hey, you remember me? And you're kind of like thrown back, like what the hell? But again, um, I definitely do see that. And, and what they're saying here is that there is almost like, there is an opportunity that's coming to you, Capricorn, where there was potential in the past. However, life happened. This could be to you or this could be this person from the past um, where it didn't really take flight. But now I feel that timing is perfect and they're coming back around trying to start this connection. They're definitely watching you or watching your social medias. They're trying to find a way to restart this connection because they see potential in you or they see the worth that you that you are a Capricorn and they're definitely like keeping their eyes on you for sure, uh, especially with the Page of Swords here. All right, Capricorns, let's see what Spirit's message is for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, my advice to you guys is if you often find yourself being the one that looks towards the past or you're looking at your ex or the person that you were with from the past and you're watching their social medias, you're watching what they're doing, um, what they're telling you here is just, you know, try the best that you can to move forward. Uh, it's all about moving forward right now, especially for you Capricorns. It's about you guys have a tendency of being very nostalgic or melancholic. Um, and what they're telling you is in order to embrace new beginnings, you have to stop looking to the past and focus primarily in the present and in the future. So again, stop stalking if you're the one that's stalking Capricorn. All right, so let's see what Spirit's message is for you. What can Capricorn expect for this month of March 2021? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so we have... We have number 23. So this is speaking to me about um, humility. This is speaking about, uh, like I said, I see a lot of you guys really either changing your diet or something that is connected to food. Um, whether it's that you haven't really been taking care of yourself, Capricorn, you haven't been eating the way you're supposed to. You've been skip skipping meals, stuff like that. You may start to feel weak. You may start to feel like you can't continue on this path. Um, but the positive thing in that is that it is to stabilize and strengthen your health. Now, for those of you guys that are perfectly fine, this could just represent that you are either changing a diet or thinking of doing a diet or being more physically active, that type of thing. Now, I do want to mention as well with this card, what this speaks about is uh, it is talking about those people that we have a tendency of choosing to be around that we're aware they're not good people. This is people that are, they're just 
petty, they're sneaky, they're, you know, they're just messy. And what they're telling you is try the best you can to stay away from drama or stay away from people like this for the month of March. Because I feel that their drama could be carried on to you and some way affect you. And what they're telling you right now is you need to be focusing on the new beginnings. You need to be focusing on the inspirations that you're getting. Um, even ideas if you're, you know, in the shower, as an example, and you have an idea for a business or something like that, what they're telling you is really tune into that because it could be that you're channeling spirit and spirit is trying to push you forth. As an example, if you're trying to find financial stability, you don't know how to go about it. And all of a sudden you get this idea for a business or anything, something you could be selling or something. Really pay attention to that because that spirit speaking through you, um, trying to push you, trying to help you uh, better your financial stability. And I see a lot of growth, a lot of financial stability uh, for you Capricorns, even if you feel like you've been tested or like it's been a bit difficult, things will start to get better for you. Um, very, very strongly. And the stress that comes with responsibilities is going away. This is the time where we, what we call we harvest. Uh, and I see this happening for Capricorns as well as Aquarius. So again, uh, keep your, keep your focus and stay away from people that are just causing drama. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.